Hi, French Horn friends. My name is Deidre. I'm from Great Falls, Montana. This is my daughter, Finley. We are both fabulous French horn players, and we're gearing up for school, getting ready to start. And in our school district, uh, we need to have covers on instruments uh, so that those little COVID buggers don't get spread around the room and kids still get to play. So I have made a French horn bell cover that allows your hand to go into the bell and still sound fabulous. <laughs> Let me add that my sewing experience is pretty minimal. I think I had seventh and eighth grade courses and that's about it. Maybe something when I was a Girl Scout a long time ago. This project it took me about two hours to come up with the pattern and, and execute it. And then I made a second one and it was a lot faster. Um, so this should be something uh, pretty easy to make and, or, you know, give to somebody who loves to sew, who can do it even quicker. So I'm attempting to make a French horn bell cover and have a big piece of fabric. I have it doubled. And first step is to get it folded and have an overlap that a hand can go through and not have a open hole. So I've got it at about four inches. I this is a light fixture that is 18 inches across, and that's going to be my uh, pattern for cutting out my circle with the overlapped part a little off center, but close to center. And I have my circle traced, and I'm going to cut it out. And my circle is cut. Like opened up because this part is going to fold over for the hand to go in. So I'm going to cut the fabric here so that I can take a little bit out and make basically a little hand hole. Okay, fabric is cut. I'm going to take some out of here for a hand to be able to fit through. Here's what my pattern ended up looking like after I completed the first one. I realized there was a lot of fabric when we fold over and it was hard for the sewing machine needle to get through all the thread. So I made another one and have little cutouts just so that when you fold over for the elastic at the end, it um, is a little bit easier on the sewing machine. So my French horn COVID cover pattern, 18 inches across, 14 inches on the big pattern um, and a circle with the extra flap, four inch flap for folding over. Piece that I cut out, I just eyeballed it. Now I'll finish the edges. The fabric is pinned with the uh, nice side, the outside uh, in, so the unfinished side is facing out. I'm going to sew together, leave a little spot on either side where I can turn it uh, right side out. I am finishing the edges or sewing the pieces together as close as I can. Are together I am in the process of turning this one uh, right side out with a little hole left and then I will sew that up after I get the right side fabric out. Pieces uh, ironed flat and then pinned here and here this will be the opening for the hand. So I'm gonna sew where I have it pinned now. Folded the fabric over so that it makes a circle and there's a flap where the hand can go through. And then I'm going to just sew a little bit on either side so that we still have quite a bit of opening for the hand. Stitching on either place to kind of hold together. And then here is the underside. Next is to fold over and sew a line so that elastic can be put in. Pinned all the way around 
at about an inch, although it's not precise, inch and a half. I will sew the edge here, and then the elastic is gonna go on the inside of that. So I'll leave a little part of it open so that I can get the elastic in. Uh, note that on my second bell cover, I uh, reduced the area that the elastic would go into, that little pocket area, to about three quarters of an inch, and I think that worked better. It also gave a little extra uh, room in case your bell is a little bit bigger than what my daughter's is. With this pinning, there are little pleats or darts necessary because of the circle. And measuring a little over 14 inches for a 12 inch French horn bell. Except for a little hole to put the elastic band in, calculated the circumference of a horn bell to be 37 inches and I cut my 3 8 inch plastic band at 32 inches, and now I will insert it into the edge here. I have my safety pin on there to put it through and then guide it around, and once it's all the way through, then I will sew the ends of the elastic together. And here's the finished product.